Hey, so in the last video we set up our typography on our website. So we had some custom fonts, different font weights, text sizing, and a little bit of color. And text alignment. Now I want to take a look at spacing and positionings of our site. Just to give it some breathing room right now, it still looks pretty ugly right now. With no real layout. So we want to get some breathing room in certain spots and then you know move on from there. So I wanted to take a look at some of the spacing utilities on Tailwind. So we got spacing here. So we have padding, uh, the way they set it up. The way they set it up, you can isolate it by different positions like top, right, bottom, left, X only, Y only, uh, all sides. They also have the same for margin, except for it's an M instead of a P. So it's the same thing. Same isolations, top, uh, vertical, and horizontal. Also, I wanted to take a look at relative. So the positioning. So we're going to be taking a look at our positioning here. So we have this overlay and then absolute with this overlaid on top. So we want that set up. All right, let me pause for a second. I'm going to open up the screenshot. Okay, so I'm back now. So this is what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to get this, uh, or this is absolute and this is relative laid over top. And just spacing all around. So let's take a look at that. Now let's close this or collapse this. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to separate out all of our sections into these kind of separate HTML files just because I don't want to be editing it and having to scroll back and top back and top and it gets a little bit confusing and at least with these we can isolate uh, what we're working on and I placed them out here I didn't I usually put them in a component file or some kind of subdirectory but since I have all these as relative paths then they would break once I copy and paste back and forth so I didn't want to complicate things that way so let's take a look at the header and footer first. We'll quickly add some of the paddings and all that kind of stuff and go from there. So I got my server heading here. So all we're really going to do is first I'm going to hide this just because I just want it out of the way for now since we're doing, since Tailwind is doing mobile first approach, then we should be we don't need that right now and we're going to add just a little bit of padding oops so i'm going to add it here class equals px8 and py2 and i'm just going to make this it's going to give a full so i think i'm going to need that later and i think that's okay for now that's it for there now let's open up the footer. So I'll give it a little bit of breathing room there. Now this is all to the edges. So we're going to do something if not the same. So let's do a P12 just to give it a lot of space here. So it gives all the breathing room there. I also want to add this as container with a margin auto margin x auto so on larger screens it's gonna let's see if we can see it i don't think we can see it but on larger screens this is going to push in oh you can't see it because i didn't even spell it right container so there we go and we may not still be able to see it, but I think here is the where it breaks off. And I want some padding here. So on this div here, MB12, just to match this. So there we go. We got some spacing here. That's okay. Now let's open up our buttons. So 
So we got our buttons here. Now what I want to do is give this an MR, Mr. 2, margin right 2. So it pushes that. Now we have this tailwind. Oops, hope I'm not on the side. So we have this class here. So what I want to do is just tack on our CSS, um, our utility classes to this. So let's do px for py2 rounded full and a border. So what we're doing here is we're adding some padding, giving it rounded point or rounded border or rounded sides, and we're adding a border. Save that. Oh, I also need to set up my script so I don't have it running. So npm run watch tw. So that's in our package file if you uh, forget. Now let's resave this and it should run. So it's building. Once that's built, we should see here. Okay, so on our button, kind of just want to add some color to it, just so we can see it. So let's do BG white, text black, and we know these from our previous uh, and a border white from our previous video. Uh, BG red 600, text white, and border red 600. All right, that looks all right for, to me for these two. Now, do I need to, yeah, that should be fine. Let's grab this. So in our hero, so we'll open up hero. So for here, we can just right away do that. Okay. So what do we need to do here? We want to set up uh, absolute and overlay it. So we'll make this, I'm not sure, I don't think we need this part, but let's just add it anyways for real relative. And we need to change this to, oops, class absolute. Okay. Now, what do we need to do here? So for our class, we set relative. And since our text is black, let's set it to white, because it's going to be on this darker, darker background, text white. And give it a padding of 12. And just push it all, all around. Okay, so that looks okay. And now we need to add a class here. Let's do margin bottom of 10. I should push it down. And we got some breathing room. Now we have our positioning set up properly there. Okay, so we have our card. And I'll paste all these over into the index after we're done. So we're working on this in isolation. Okay. So first thing we need to make this background a certain color, because on where's my image here? <clears throat> we have a white background here, and behind here is like a lighter or like gray. I like gray. So let's set that background, and then we'll set these the copy of the cards to white. 
so we're on this one. <clears throat> so let's do, oops, what am I doing here? Class. Not class. No, we need BG gray 200 and BG 6. So we're going to give it some. Some padding down here. Did it work? Oh no, P B G. P B. Bottom padding bottom. So yeah. Now added there. Now we can't really see it, so let's do here and here. Same time. Class equals B G white. So that should add there. So those are white now. Now let's give it a padding of 12 and a margin X of four. So it's gonna squish it in. Okay, so now we see the background there. Now we wanna push this up. So minus margin top five. So we can't see that yet. So let's do a relative, and once we do that, I want to round the corners. Let's give a little bit of rounded corners there. Now this one has the margin or padding bottom. We need to push this down as well. So we need to, on this one on our main card class, our first card I mean, padding bottom six. And that's going to push it down. Okay, I think that's about it. Oh, here I want to add some padding and margins to these. So I don't think we're doing anything with this one. Now let's this one. I think I'm going to do margin bottom two. And this one, margin bottom 10. So margin bottom 10, margin bottom 2. So that looks good. That looks good too. Okay. I think that's it. If we got it all back covered. Okay, let's paste all this over. So we got our buttons. Oh, we should add our buttons over from our from this. So let's grab that. Start cards. I'm gonna add these buttons. Now we have these border whites. I don't think we need these. Maybe we should take them out for all of them. Because we can't see it on this white background and it gives us a default gray one so we'll be able to see it on here anyways so let's take it out of there and take it out of this one as well okay so we can see those that's already there and i think we can see it here okay we don't need this one anymore so let's start copying them over. I'm going to start off with this, the header. So in a perfect world, or if you're working in, like on a front end, all this stuff is, would be set up like in components anyway. So you wouldn't have to copy and paste over. They would just load into your, your main file. But since we're working in this HTML, the static HTML, this is the way we have to do it. So this part was a little boring, so I sped it up at four speed. I'm just copying and pasting from the files into the index. Nothing really happened here. Now let's save that. And on our index, we should see the magic. So there we go. So we went from, now our site is starting to look a little bit better. We're getting a little bit more layout 
obviously. Now we got some breathing room. And uh, yeah, so I think that's it for this. So in the next video, we'll probably take a look at some layouts uh, and go from there. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the content so far. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment down below. To stay updated with the latest content from the channel, you can subscribe by clicking right here in the middle.